Right, I've got the uh, crankshaft from the uh, Royal Enfield Electro X that had the noise coming from the big end which has got a tiny amount of play in it and I'm about to uh, set about splitting the crank and take a look and get ready to change the conrod and big end and crank pin as required and I just thought I'd set it up in the lathe beforehand and just give it a spin between centres just to see uh, what sort of run out if any there might be on it and the clocks are rising and falling together so one lot cancels the other out which is good we've got about uh, point one two of a millimeter run out on that one which equates to uh, around about five thousandths of an inch and we're showing three and a half thousandths of an inch on that one so we've got an actual discrepancy of one and a half thousandths of an inch there as the needles are rising and falling together so actually that probably wouldn't have been too bad but when I put it together I'm going to see if I can even though the gauges move up and down together I'm going to aim for less movement than that if I can get it but at least this tells me uh, what I've got to beat if you like so the next step will be split the crank and see what we got in there well I've got the uh, crankshaft out from the Electra X engine now and I've got it split and I'm just gonna demonstrate the uh, admittedly small amount of play in the big end but it's not gonna go away and it's not gonna get any smaller and it's definitely what was causing the noises and it would have got worse in no time so uh, although it's all not it's not all sort of chewed up and mangled it's uh, we caught it in time I don't know how well this will come out but that's my metric dial gauge there camera will probably actually pick up the sound of that Now we've got, um, we're showing about 0 0.05 of a millimeter vertical play there. That's at the top dead center point. It'll probably be uh, pretty similar at bottom dead center as well, I would say. Possibly even a little more. Um, but anyway, we've got that play there at top dead center, and that uh, tells me that that's excessive anyway, because the 0.05 of a millimeter equates to two thousandths of an inch give or take a whisker and we can actually hear that also there's witness marks on the crank pin where the thrust washers have been jangling around on it slightly and sort of chopping their way into it I don't know whether the camera will pick one of those up or not but uh, I've seen them anyway um, so Although all the individual components of this big end look okay, visually, there's no escaping that play and that noise, me just moving that conrod by hand getting that noise is uh, a drop in the ocean compared to the crankshaft spinning at speed and the piston sort of thrusting up and down on it. It's going to make a much more audible racket which is what we heard when the engine was running um, or I heard uh, so I'm gonna get the crank pin out of the time inside flywheel next and then um, there'll be uh, a new replacement conrod and uh, crank pin and big end bearing to put this right and then put the crank back together through it and start putting the engine back together again but that's the culprit anyway